For a simple electric motor, you need a permanent magnet, coils and wires, a battery or energy source, and it needs to be a series circuit. Other parts include brushes and communicators. The role of an electric current is that it produces the current that makes the coil an electromagnet. The brushes and the communicator form a closed circuit between the battery and the coil. Wires connect to the battery and to the coil of the wire. The permanent magnets are under the coil or around the coil. The job of the magnets are to spin the coil. Magnetism, the properties and interactions of magnets. The coil spins because of the attractive and repulsive forces between the coil and the permanent magnet. The repulsive forces push the magnet away and the attractive forces bring it back. In a simple electric motor, a coil rotates between poles of a permanent magnet. To keep the coil rotating, the current must change direction twice during each rotation. If the current did not change direction, the coil would stop rotating. After the coil makes one half revolution, the ends of the coil are moving past the opposite poles of the permanent magnet. The coil continues to rotate until the brushes are not in contact with the communicator and no current flows in the coil. The inertia of the coil keeps it rotating. The communicator reverses the direction of the current in the coil. This flips the north and south poles of the magnetic field around the coil. The coil rotates until its poles are opposite the poles of the permanent magnet. The communicator reverses the current and the coil keeps rotating. When an electric current runs through the coil, the coil experiences a force and moves. One side moves up and the other side moves down. Compared to the research we have done and the videos we have watched, our model works in comparison because we use the same basic concepts we researched but altered the R motor just a bit. But we use the basic idea as we found in our research. Some troubles or difficulties with our model is that whenever the coil starts to spin, after a few seconds it will proceed to the part of the coil that is insulated and not stripped of the insulator and the motor will slow down and the coil will stop spinning. I hope this video helped you learn how to make a simple motor.